Tiny Pie Syndrome, a disease that kills more marketing campaigns each year than every other rookie marketing mistake combined. Okay, maybe that's not quite a real statistic, but if you've tried advertising or done marketing or you've SEO'd your website or written blogs or sent out direct mail or called cold prospects and it didn't turn out well, chances are you're making at least one of these campaign killing mistakes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to avoid that costly learning curve and expand your pool of potential buyers by 3,133%. 3,000 percent more potential buyers, that's the equivalent of multiplying your at-bats by 31x. And if you can't get a hit with 31 more at-bats, you might want to rethink something about your sales process. But needless to say, you won't have a marketing problem anymore. Here's how it works. In a separate video, I walked you through what I call the prospect pyramid, which breaks down your entire market into three categories of prospects and tells us A, where these people are in their buying journey, which traffic sources we should use to reach them, and what our messaging should say to get their attention. So now let's take it one step further and drill down into exactly what you need to do to instantly increase your market size and stop making those rookie mistakes that destroy marketing campaigns, waste money, and probably even ruin marriages. Who knows? Hey everyone, it's just a divorce. All right, buddy. Thanks, feels good. All right, so slice one. Within the prospect pyramid, we know that the first category of people in your marketplace are the buyers. Everyone knows that and everyone focuses on them. But did you know that this tiny slice of the pie only makes up about 3% of the market? In other words, in any market, there's only about one to 3% of people who are ready and willing to buy at any one time. Everybody else, the other 97%, for all you math wizards out there, are not ready to buy. Yet pretty much every client we speak to that's tried marketing before and it didn't work, ran a campaign solely to this 3%. Maybe you know someone like that. And here's how it goes. You or some agency creates an ad campaign, writes some copy, and directs all of your targeting, messaging, and offers around talking to this 3%. Got a consultation. Buy our stuff. Trust me, you want this. Whatever it is you're saying. Well, guess what? most of the people aren't ready to do that yet. And even the ones who are, they probably don't even know who you are yet. You gotta build a little trust first, you know, marketing foreplay. Flick out your jab for just a few rounds before you drop the overhand right. Because going after this tiny 3% is exactly what your competitors are doing. And if you remember from the prospect pyramid video, the higher up on the pyramid means that there's more competition, which means your ad costs are going to be the highest. And if you don't have a really strong website, offer, email follow-up, nurturing system, sales team, et cetera, you're gonna have a difficult time just having sustainable success staying here. Or in the absolute best case scenario, your margins are not gonna be as good as they could be. And worst of all, the problems don't end there because most businesses only operate here in the 3% are also making this other mistake of focusing all of their messaging on themselves, talking about how great they are, how amazing their products are, saying things like, made from the finest 100% long staple Egyptian cotton. Well, that might as well be written in hieroglyphics because no one has a clue what that means, or more importantly, how it benefits them. So take that ad copy and walk it like an Egyptian straight into the trash can because people don't buy things when they don't understand how it benefits them. And even if you say things that people can understand in plain English, assuming you're speaking in English, like talking about how many years you've been in business or why you're the most qualified, nobody cares. Everybody is saying that same thing, so it just sounds like BS. And even more importantly, it doesn't speak to your customer's actual desires. And before someone knows you and likes you, they truly do not give a single f about you. So here's a pro tip for you. There's three ways you can influence strangers to buy from you. One, you can talk about how good you are. Two, you can show other people talking about how good you are. And three, you can actually prove how good you are by demonstrating it to them. Option one, not so good, especially uh, in these days of the internet when most people's skepticism is outrageously high and probably think that you're the next Bernie Madoff or Nigerian Prince email scam. 
Option two, a little bit better. Other people giving reviews and recommendations and testimonials, definitely more trustworthy than someone talking about themselves. But option three is undeniable. If you can provide value upfront and show someone how good you are by actually helping them, they experience it firsthand, wow. And for us humans, if we haven't seen it for ourselves, it might as well not exist, regardless of how ridiculous that might be. The next slice of the pie is people in information gathering mode. They're pretty close to moving into the buyer section but need a little more information before they feel comfortable pulling out their wallets. They make up roughly 17% of the market and are still very close to putting money in your pocket, which by the way, this slice is 467% larger than the first group. So even if all you did was create one more level to your messaging and an appropriate offer to interest these people, you've already made it four and a half times easier to reach your growth goals. Almost couldn't do math there. And that there be some pretty good odds if you ask me. To tap into this 17% slice, you need to adjust your messaging and offers to cater to what these people want, which is information. And if you're the supplier of that decision-making information that they're seeking, you've already taken huge strides in building trust with them because you've demonstrated value and your actual sale is going to be much more frictionless. And what the real pros know that I'm about to tell you right now is that if your information is good enough, it will actually push them into buying mode. So give your market a little push in the right direction and in return, get rewarded for it. So we still have 80% of the market left. What's going on with that slice? No, not that slice. Not that slice either. No, not that. Well, maybe that slice. What we're talking about here is that slice. This is the second half of the aware category from the prospect pyramid. They are still aware of their problem or desire, but they aren't gathering info actively. And that's fine. As long as they're aware of their problems, that's good enough for us marketers because people have all sorts of problems and these people know they have a problem. And if your product or service solves a problem, you just need to make sure your offers to these people are not buy stuff, but rather these are the droids, I mean answers you've been looking for, right? They need information, you give it to them. And if your product or service doesn't solve a problem, then that probably means you either invented the next pet rock, or you might want to rethink the point of what you're selling. Bring awareness to this 20% to your solution and then help them solve a part of their problem through expert information. Bring them one step closer to the end goal, even if it's a small step like you're just dropping some clues to point them in the right direction and get the wheels turning, that's valuable. You just want to get people started. And if you don't think pointing someone in the right direction is very valuable, Try taking your next road trip without a map or working GPS. That there's a lake there. I think it knows where it is going. This is the the lake. machine knows. This is the lake. Stop yelling at me! No, it's Stop not yelling. yelling! There's no road here. Remain calm. And finally, the last slice, the final 60%, a huge part of your market. These people are unaware of their problem, and as we touched on in the prospect pyramid video, ignorance of the law or of your problems does not save you from them. So, just because the 60% isn't aware of their problem doesn't mean they don't have one or that it's not right around the corner. And even though they're walking around like oblivious zombies totally unaware of their problems, guess whose job it is to make them aware? Mine. It's my job as a marketer, but it's also your job if you want to DIY this whole shindig because the reality is many people are totally open to taking proactive action to solving their problems if they only knew about them. So educate them, provide value through teaching and educating them on things that will bring their problems or potential problems to their attention. And by the time they get to the ready to buy stage, you will be the authoritative leader in their mind. And if you don't know where to start, let me help you out. Everything humans want falls into one of five categories. So just figure out which of the following categories your service falls under and you'll know where to begin. Physiological, safety, love and belonging, esteem, self-actualization. Every human is looking to improve at least one of these things. We start by desiring the things at the bottom and as we get them, we ascend upwards continually wanting more. It's in our nature. We never stop wanting more. And this probably explains why there's 46 million results for retirement depression. People work their entire lives to retire, and then when they get there, 
they get depressed because they have nothing to do. So give them something to do. Link your product or service to the problems it solves and create informational content around those issues. Make the information really good. Give it out for free in exchange for an email address or some semi-permanent way of keeping in contact with the person and continue to deliver value. The more value you provide, the more trust you build and the faster your market will move through their buying cycle, which means that you make more money more quickly and will reach your goals of early retirement faster. Just remember to stay busy when you do because it comes with an extra large side of PTSD. So to summarize it up, if, like most of your competitors, all you do is focus on the 3% who are ready to buy, you're leaving a lot of opportunity on the table. To really crank your sales into overdrive, you need to unlock that additional 97% of the market and tap into your full marketing potential. Your ad costs will go down. The goodwill you bring to your marketplace will go up, skyrocketing. As you provide value, you'll help ascend your prospects into buy mode. So now I want to hear from you. Click the like button and drop a comment into the comments below. What kind of information, expert information, decision making information could you provide to your market to help educate them and give them the information they need to push them into buy mode? I'd like to hear what you have to do. And if growing your business is one of your main goals, just remember, it's a lot easier to double your sales when you 30x your potential customers. If you haven't watched already, be sure to check out our video on the prospect pyramid. And if you have, stay tuned for our next video. Just click right here or right here, wherever it is. Click there and you're gonna watch our video on how to get free traffic from search engines so that you can add more traffic into your pipeline and continue to ramp up your sales. Stay tuned, follow the arrow, and I'll see you next time.